Hello and welcome back guys to Joshua's lovely object camp. To the second episode of Joshua's object camp, part one. Expect the unexpected. Judging that I'm speaking in an English accent for this video, you will most likely already be expecting the unexpected. Let's get started with today's most cheerful elimination. Welcome back. It would be my pleasure to welcome you back to Joshua's lovely object camp. Last episode, the results were fairly exquisite as always. The juicy oranges lost the challenge and are presently inside the opulence that is Her Majesty's throne room for elimination. Um, shouldn't we do some confessionals first? Oh yes, I nearly forgot the delightfulness for these confessionals. Let's get started. Ping pong ball, Daryl Kennedy. Sorry I didn't do the challenge. I was busy. I will try to do the challenge next time. Blindfold, fitness. Sorry for missing episode one. I never saw it in my subs videos. Game cartridge. Wyatt Isles. I was doomed because not one because there's not one object that can meet both man and devil. HMHS Britannic Yoshi Cool says, good luck to everyone up for elimination. Orange, James Brooks. Well, Team Captain, unexpected. But congratulations to Platter. Roboti, I would congratulate you, but you aren't a competitor. So yeah. And now, Orange's words of wisdom with Orange, James Brooks. Today's words of wisdom. See, please don't be jealous. You're not the only one who didn't make it. Platter. C-I-V-V-V. -V -V. Wow, looks like Lady Luck loves devils, and so do I. Also, good job, Orange. Roboti, userless. It's alright, Orange. I know I was just a person that didn't get chosen, but I'd like to personally congratulate Platter and Orange. It's just a pity that more people didn't do the challenge. As for Z, he's not available right now. With all this escape nonsense coming for him, I think it's best we leave him be for now. Voting results time! Well, that was a jolly good display of confessionals. Good show, you guys! Now, I do believe it's time for something rather important. Wouldn't you agree, Gun? Yes, I do believe it. For execution! Yeah! Welcome to Elimination, Juicy Oranges! You had less people that actually did the challenge. But before we find out who's leaving, let's see who will get the prize. We got a grand total of nine prize votes this elimination. Let's see who won. With zero likes, Spongy, Top Hat, Orange, and Transgender don't win the prize. With one like each, Cheese Orb, Orb, Neptune, and Lollipop don't win the prize. It's between Mona Lisa and Plank. Let's see who win. That means with three likes, Plank wins the prize. With only two likes, Mona Lisa does not win the prize. Congratulations, Plank, me horrific boy. You have won an immunity token. I'll explain what uh, how this works the next time your team is up for elimination. Now I'm a 
afraid it's time to find out who's leaving this cup. We have a grand total of nine elimination votes. Let's see who they went to. With zero dislikes, Orange, Neptune, Lollipop, Transgender, and Plank are all safe. With one dislike each, Spongy, Orb, and Mona Lisa are safe. It's between Cheese Orb and Top Hat to be eliminated. Let's find out who will be eliminated. This means that Top Hat's eliminated with four elimination votes. Cheese Orb is the last one safe with two votes. Well, unfortunately, Top Hat's got the most elimination votes. The rest of you are excused. Top Hat, follow me if you please. 20th Top Hat, aka BFDI Match. I'm really sorry that you had to be eliminated so soon, but due to your inactivity, your team, and everyone else for that matter, voted you out. Now that Top Hat's gone, only 19 of you remain. The challenge is that comes next is actually a rather interesting one. The challenge is a classic pick-a-box challenge. Each of them have points inside them, and some even have tokens. But be warned, there is one really bad box. But first, all you guys have to do is pick a number between 1 and 15. And in case you guys can't count, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Challenge ends on September 1st at 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do not hesitate to use a time zone converter if you live elsewhere. Also, you may be wondering where Z is. I suppose you'll just have to stick around and find out. Bye, guys.